okay guys welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll be teaching you guys on how you can um do a machine wigging if you are a beginner this video is for you subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos so guys this is my canvas head um i like this canvas head because it gives like the real shape of the head um, this is size 22 size 22 is like the moderate size to use so this is my dummy cap i'll be putting this on the canvas this is a 14 inches 2 by 4 closure i'm going to place it at the center i'll make sure it's at the center of the dummy cap So I'm just going to take my T-pin and then I'm going to pin it to pin the closure against the dummy cap to secure my closure to my cap, to my dummy cap. while doing this make sure your pattern is at the center of your dummy cap so after using my t-pin to pin the closure against my dummy cap i'm going to take my office pin about five office pin and then i make sure i use two pin on each side and one pin on the center just to secure the closure to the lace and make sure it is straight make sure your pattern is straight so that um you can easily sew on your machine without your closure shifting that is the aim of doing this so after making sure my closure is well secured to my dummy cap i'm just going to clip it together and i'm going to start sewing on my sewing machine the closure part is quite difficult to sew on a machine so i advise you use your straight stitch first to sew your closure around and after that you can rerun it with a zigzag so as you can see this button i'm pushing down is my reverse button so immediately i start sewing i push this down to secure the edges of my closure because i don't want my closure to start losing So always make sure you use your reversal button to secure your edges at the beginning and at the end. Now when you are sewing your closure, try as much as possible to sew away from the extra lace. Instead, try to sew closer to the closure. I mean closer to where the hair stops on the closure because by the time you start sewing on the extra lace instead of where the hair stops on the closure by the time you want to cut off the cap under the closure that you've sewn it's going to affect your work by the way i'm using a size 14 needle on my sewing machine because i believe size 14 is the best size to sew this kind of material and i'm using a butterfly sewing machine the model is so after sewing my closure on the machine i'm just going to trim off the extra lace with a scissors you can actually wear the uh, dummy cap on your dummy head before trimming this to avoid cutting your cap by mistake 
so i'm going to cut off the cap under the closure that i have sewn so that my closure can fit properly on the head while doing this you have to be careful so as not to cut your closure you have to be very very careful not to cut your closure otherwise your work is ruined so guys you can see how neat my closure is i'm just going to clip it and i'm going to take my chalk and i'm going to draw a line to partition the cap i start this line from the pattern of the closure i'm drawing my line downwards and after that i'm going to take my tape and i'm going to measure the first two lines close to the closure i take half inches measurement then from the third line one inches space each just as you can see the reason i'm doing these markings drawing these lines is so that i'm going to get a straight line while so my wefts are going to be straight i don't want a case whereby my wefts are going to be bent so i'm just going to extend the lines forward in the process of doing this if you find out your wefts are not going to be enough you can decide to adjust the line to suit your weft because we don't want a case whereby your lines are more than your weft at the end of the day your weft will not be enough to finish the wig and you have to start losing and start all over again we don't want that so i'm just going to place my weft on my first line and i'm going to start sewing on my machine now always make sure to use your reverse stitch immediately you start in order to secure your weft at the start and at the end so always place your weft through the line i'm using a zigzag stitch because zigzag is finer and it's easier to use for a beginner so don't make the mistake of dragging your cap while you are sewing your weft otherwise you are going to get a very bumpy wig so instead place your hand on your weft and on the cap and pull them together make sure you pull them together at the same time and pace otherwise you are going to get a bumpy wig and we are trying to avoid that so look at my weft you can see that there is no bump my weft is very flat on my cap if you follow my instruction you are not going to have a bumpy wig so i'm just going to cut off my extra weft and then i'm going to place it on my second line and i'm going to sew again and that is how the cycle continues until you get to the end note that if you are using chalk just like me your lines are going to clean at some point and you have to start drawing them again with your chalk so you can see what you are doing
so guys check out my cup you can see how neat it is very neat oh my god and another thing you can decide to sew your weft double times if the first zone is not tight enough you can decide to sew it again before moving to the next line so i'm just going to sew my elastic band on my wig this is usually the last step this is to ensure that the wig is fitted on the head and it won't easily fall off And I'm just going to trim off the extra thread on the wig and that's all. So I'm just going to wear my wig on my dummy head and i'm going to brush and partition it and i'm going to use my cloud nice air straightener to straighten it and after that i use my clipper to trim while trimming please be careful so you don't over trim the hair if you want to learn how to professionally trim a blonde cut watch my next video also like this video and subscribe to my youtube channels for more interesting videos Thank you.